hello. So good to see you. I'm here because I want to chat about the upcoming doll convention that I am going to be attending and why we are going and what's happening there and all of the things that are involved with it. So it's been something that has been in the works for a long time and I have been wanting to talk about it, but I have not been able to quite yet because UFDC wanted me to wait until the whole schedule was out, which I totally get that. So now the whole schedule is out and I just said it, UFDC, we are excited to announce that I and Christopher are going to be attending the UFDC convention in Bellevue, Washington, United Federation of Doll Clubs. We just got our packets in the mail and we have signed up for events and seminars and all kinds of wonderful things and we are so excited. The reason I have been, all, it's not like I'm coming to this convention for the first time. So if we have been, if you and I have met each other and done uh, things at convention together in the past, please put a comment in here. I have spent my entire life going to UFDC conventions with my mother, Diane Hoffman, and one of her best friends, Sally Freeman, who's going to be attending with us too. Hi, Sally. And we are, we are very excited. I, I grew up, gosh, going to these conventions for my entire life. My mom went to the UFDC convention for her entire career. We have been always dealers in the sales room and my mother did all kinds of wonderful things throughout her career for the UFDC. The biggest thing that she did was, the biggest thing that I would say was um, her epic Christmas display that she did in conjunction with a lot of other wonderful people that a lot of you might remember that we did in Anaheim, California one year. But the whole point of me saying all of this is that I have been going to these conventions my entire life. And it has been a wonderful way for me to learn, to network, to meet people, to for our business, to sell, uh, to buy, to do everything that you want to do as a doll collector and a person trying to learn more and explore more in their doll life. So I am excited. Now, would I have gone? I don't know. I wasn't planning on it because Holland Diane is, I've never been away from her at all. The only time I've ever spent any time away from her at all is when she's in school three days a week. Otherwise she's with me the rest of the time unless she's with Derek uh, for an afternoon or something. But I've never spent any kind of significant amount of time away from our Holland Diane. Now, a lot of you may know that our wonderful friend, my wonderful friend, I, miss him so much. Jonathan Green, he passed away in December of last year. He took his life and it was a decision that he wanted to make. And because of that, we are all reeling from his, from his death and from, from him not being here and a part of our world and a part of our community. It has taken me months I mean, it's it's now the middle of April. It is, and, and I am never going to stop missing Jonathan. I am never going to stop wondering about him. I am never going to stop thinking about him and probably reaching for, oh, let me ask Jonathan and then, and then he's not there. I miss him and I loved him so much. I have such a soft spot in my heart for Jonathan. I always have. In my career, we, we became friends at UFDC. That's where I met Jonathan. And then of course at other different doll shows and events throughout, throughout the years. He was always my person for so many things. I never did a virtual doll convention event without programs with Jonathan Green. And we chatted all the time. He was one of the first people that I told that I was pregnant. He was just such a, such an amazing person on so many levels. He really, he really, really pioneered the dolls that he loved, which was, as we know, Katie Cruz, Raggedy Ann, Edith Flack Ackley, and then he loved so many other dolls and he learned and taught so much about them. His collection was just so much fun and so beautiful. And I could just go and I could talk about Jonathan Green all day but I have to limit it to about a half an hour with my program. So Jonathan Green was working very hard with the KT Cruza company and with UFDC for his event 
in Bellevue, Washington. It's a luncheon event. Because Jonathan is not here, I am very honored to now be the speaker for this event. And our company, our doll shop, Turn of the Century Antiques, is sponsoring the event. So this is a really big deal for me. This is going to be my first time leaving our daughter and she's going to be going to school and, and Derek's going to be just doing an incredible job, but it will be my first time doing that. And it will be also my first time attending a UFDC convention without my mother. The last one that I attended was in Nashville, Tennessee in 2019. And that was the last convention that I brought my mom to. It was a tough convention, but I am so glad that I went and what I did, it was it was tough in the sense that it was the last one that my mother attended and I was on double duty there. We had a booth, I had my mom, she also spent some time with my cousin uh, out there and I'm so glad that I took her to that convention and it was after after she passed away, which she passed away on April 23rd, that's coming up, for a long time, for a very long time, it was extremely difficult for me to do anything outside of the shop, to be a person in the doll community without her by my side, to step into my own shoes or to represent our company just without her, just me by myself. I've been working here and doing this my entire life, but when I was suddenly working here and doing it, by my by by myself of course i've had i have stanley i've had a lot of help from sally and from a lot of people that have worked here over the years we have christopher we have a lot of wonderful help but for me and my relationship and everything that i've known my entire life for me to go and do that was very hard in the beginning so hard that i did not i have not done much at all now of course that's coupled with the fact that i was pregnant and then had a baby and all of that that takes you that takes you out of the game for a while because you're just so busy doing that and your body is still recovering so my body feels good I'm 17 months postpartum and I'm ready to be back in action so we are going to be at the UFTC convention for the entire event we have sent in our requests for ticketed events and for seminars and things today and we are very very excited the event that we are doing for Jonathan Green is, this is a labor of absolute and complete love for me, for Jonathan. Our, I, what I am planning and what I am doing, I am incredibly excited about. The KT Crusa company is doing a fabulous doll. There are two dolls. There is the event doll and her, her name starts with a J and then her, the companion doll, his name starts with a G. I hope I got that right. I might have the his and her mixed up, but the, the main event doll starts with a J and the, the companion doll starts with a G for the initials JG for Jonathan Green. Carol Cameron has been helping so much with this and so has Donnell and they have just been wonderful to work with and so we are planning this. What When we say planning, what are we doing? Well, I am very excited to give a program about KT Cruz focusing on Jonathan's relationship with her and how much he loved her and how much he educated about her. So we are going to be talking about KT Cruz through the lens of Jonathan Green. And everything I know about Katie Cruz, I learned from Jonathan Green. I'm, I'm not an expert at all in Katie Cruz, so it's gonna be, I'm gonna learn uh, a decent amount, which I'm excited about, but really, I'm going to be talking about Jonathan's love for Katie Cruz, and I'm gonna be talking about Jonathan. And I am just absolutely honored to be at all in a place where I have a platform at this event to be honoring him and speaking about him. It, it is just such an honor. Carol Cameron called me and asked right when it happened. And she asked if I could put together like a video or, or just put together something. And just in the same sentence, I was also, I was, I was crying. It, it was a long time before I could even talk about him without crying, but I was crying and, but I, I stopped enough so I could say, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. I'm going to figure out whatever it is I need to do to, to be there and I'm gonna be there and I'm gonna do it in person. Jonathan deserves that. He, he, I, if I'm gonna be speaking about him, 
I, I want to be there and I want to look into your eyes if you're going to be at the event and I and I want to give you a big hug and I want to talk about him in real life and in real person and I just want to make it a, a, as as uh, um, sentimental and as in in person and as real as I possibly can so I'm excited to be there I am working with my factory to make some incredible centerpieces for the tables. I am working with my factory to make an just such a fun doll that I am wor working to get, I'm, I'm saying it, I'm just letting it out of the bag that I am creating for all of the attendees of the luncheon in addition to the one that they are getting from Katie Cruz. It's not a Katie Cruz doll, but it's it's a doll you're gonna like. And my factory is making them right now. It is, you're just gonna, you, you're gonna love it for a lot of reasons. And um, we, we're just so excited. I'm just, I'm just planning a lot of different things. Christopher is really excited to join. We are gonna, we're gonna put on a good show. And I think about this, there are so many reasons why I need to do this, but the biggest one is, is because Jonathan Green deserves a, a place for us in a, an event, and it's something for the people that loved him. He, there was no public memorial, there was no obituary written, and that is, for me, um, something that I, I was very sad, I was sad about because I just didn't want this to happen and then to have it just kind of be washed away. Um, Jonathan Green's legacy and his memory and the impact that he gave to us and what he shared with us over his decades of friendship with us in the doll community is it's just it's it's you can't even you can't even put it onto a scale it's insurmountable it is grand it is just it is absolutely incredible the amount of time and energy he gave he was in it for the love of dolls he was in it for his passion and for wanting to pioneer education about the dolls that he cared about he held the torch for KT Cruz over his entire career and Anything that I can do to preserve that legacy and to talk about it, I am always going to do. So if you're watching this right now and you knew him, you loved him, you were, you, you were, he, you touched, he touched your life in some kind of way, just know that I am never going to forget him here in my doll shop. We are going to have a permanent spot for him, a permanent memorial for him here in the doll shop, and I'm never going to stop talking about Jonathan Green. Never. I'm never. I owe so much to him. Just, just like my mother, I am never going to quit chatting about her and talking about her and talking about the memories and talking about what she impacted on my life, how much she gave to me. I am a very smart business person in a lot of ways. I, I know that about myself. I've learned a lot basically through trial and error too of making a lot of mistakes. But I wouldn't be here standing in front of you in this doll shop if it wasn't for my mother's pioneering efforts to do all of this with my father. And then she left it to me. And I had the I had the guts and the brains to continue to do this and I'm doing it right now to continue to do this because owning a doll shop and operating a doll company is no easy task but we have some amazing amazing people and customers that support us so we're able to do it but I wouldn't be here doing all of this if it wasn't for my mother and there's so many things that I know that a lot of us have learned a lot of us have purchased a lot of us have taken that we can credit to Jonathan Green. Just my passion for dolls. The fact that I can walk into a room and, and know a lot more about Raggedy Ann than I ever knew before because of him. I know what an Edith Flack Ackley doll looks like. I have an appreciation for weird, quirky, off off the cuff dolls and when I mean when I say weird that's always in a good way <laughs> some us, us doll people and some of our dolls are just are just quirky you know and Jonathan loved all that there wasn't a doll that I ever sent to him that he didn't appreciate in some way or find something good about sometimes I'd send him things that I just 
just didn't didn't think were maybe special in a way and he always could make them special and always make me appreciate so much about them and Katie Cruz I will for the rest of my life always love her story and her dolls and the company and everything that they did because of Jonathan Green not because of any other way I, I probably wouldn't have gone much in that direction without him but he made me love them and that's what he did for so many of us with his club with his groups with his online events the hair on my arms is like sticking straight up right now still just because i i can't even believe that we're speaking about him in the past in the in the was and the only way that i can survive this and to be able to <sighs> have joy in my heart when I think about him instead of just complete devastation and sadness and is to celebrate him and what he did and not make the, the story just end with a sad ending and have that be it. I want, I want it to continue on and I want us to just love him and appreciate him for everything that he did. So I'm going to be there. I hope that you are going to be there. If you are coming to Bellevue, Washington, wonderful. We can't wait to see ya. Here's the, here's the program right here. This is the tentative schedule. This is happening uh, in, in Bellevue, Washington on August 1st through 5th. Uh, originally, I was just going to fly in, do my program, fly right back out. And I thought, you know what, Rachel, you, love these you love these people these people that come to the convention i want to see you i want to talk to you i want to shop i want to have fun we are not having a sales booth this time this is my first the first time in my career of going to the ufdc convention where i'm not selling in the sales room so this is the very first time that i am actually able to go to to go to a convention and sign up for ticketed events that are during the day. We have signed up for several seminars and there are some incredible workshops and all kinds of really fun things to do. So this is the first time that I've had the time and capacity to be able to do that. I will definitely miss being in the sales room, but uh, to do everything that I need to do and to bring all the dolls into setup, it's that's that's a bit of a hill to climb because we are going to be bringing a lot of things for the Jonathan Green event and I truly want to experience it on the other side as an attendee. So we're all, we're, we're ready. We're, we're gonna be, we're gonna be, we're planning our outfits all ready. We are excited. So um, please sign up for our Jonathan Green event. Again, we're going all out. My company is going all out. As the sponsor, we're providing a lot we're providing the we're doing a special exhibit about Jonathan we are doing super fun centerpieces that you're gonna love that everybody at the table gets to take a piece of that centerpiece home and then I am doing a doll for you in addition to the Katie Cruz doll and the doll is made but for Jonathan Green it's it's coming from my heart for to honor Jonathan Green and I was I was thinking about it before like how am I gonna do this like um, it's a huge it's a it's a huge investment for us and I thought you know what I just don't care I don't I don't care I for, for the money for this I, I don't care I, I I don't care about advertising I don't care about anything all I care about is doing something good by him honoring him and just doing something that he he would be proud of and that he would love and that's all I care about so it's been a lot of fun to actually plan this and to be like, oh, well, order it. Yep, we need that. Yep, get it. We need that. I don't care. <laughs> we're not trying to make money here. We're, we're, just, we're just doing this for the love of doing it. So thank you so much for listening. And I really appreciate you being a part of this, whether you're online or, or in person. I hope that you can attend. There's still tons of time uh, to register, but don't take too much time, especially with these events. They fill up quickly and then, and then you're on a waiting list. So get your registration in. Now, a lot of you, 
that are watching right this right now are probably thinking, oh man, I'm not gonna be able to see or do any of this. I am putting together a presentation and I will be making that presentation available on YouTube after the event. So it's not gonna just happen at the event for a tiny group of people and then it ends. It will be available after the event. The dolls that I am making will also be available after the event with the proceeds going to a charity that I have not decided yet in Jonathan Green's honor. So lots of things, if you're, if you're not unable to attend, this, it will be open to you. So I'm having 300 of these dolls created. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. Thank you so much for listening. I really appreciate all of you so very much. If you have any questions about anything, just put it in the comments. But I think I covered everything I wanted to say just about the convention and what we're planning and what we're doing. I have already collaborated with people um, Lee Feichert, who's a, an amazing doll artist, she has already made these the, a cute surprise for the um, for the table for everyone in the room. I have already received uh, donations for the raffle for the Katie Cruz raffle from several people already, and I haven't even put out there that I'm looking for that. So if you want to donate something in Jonathan Green's honor for the raffle for our event, please reach out to me. We're looking for anything KT Crusa themed, branded, um, clothes for them. I just ordered some some cute things, some, some hangers, all kinds of things. But if you have any ideas, uh, please shoot them to me. And then our table hostesses are, are already planning some wonderful things. So we just, we love y'all so very much. And we are excited to, I'm excited to do this. I really am. I'm pouring my heart and soul into it, really. And when I get my mind on something, you better watch out. <laughs> because it, it happens. So anyway, thank you for listening. I love you so much. Bye.